Hi boys and girls, so today we're going to be looking at an artist whose name is Jean Dubuffet. And Jean Dubuffet was a French artist who was born in 1902. He developed this style called Hair Loop. And this is a series that began in 1962 and would preoccupy the artist for many decades. The inspiration actually came from a doodle he created while on the telephone call and the fluid movement of the lines combines with limited fields of color create a sense of movement. So here is a sample of Jean Buffet's hair loop. And if you look closely at these shapes, they're not geometric shapes, the regular shapes that have points and straight lines and we can identify as squares or triangles or rectangles. These are more of those free form shapes like organic shapes. An organic shape is something that has curved lines, curved edges, is not symmetrical. Uh, and if you examine the colors, he has limited colors, red, white, blue, and black. And Jean Dubuffet actually turned this hair loop style into different sculptures. <laughs> so we looked at this guy and I just have to laugh because it really is kind of funny, the style. I see lots of blue, black, lots of white red okay so the colors are limited and what we're going to be creating is a paper sculpture inspired by Jean Dubuffet and his hair loop style and again the hair loop style is this made-up style that he originated during a phone call while he was doodling in black pen and then he started putting these like little hashed lines so you see lots of the line spaces some diagonal, some vertical, some horizontal, some inside. And we're going to use this hair loop style to create a paper sculpture. So this first step of creating your paper pieces can be created done with any sized paper. I gave you these rectangles that are 12 inches by 6 inches. And then um, we're going to do front and back of these front and back of, of these. Now I have a couple, obviously, because I've been teaching a few different classes already, but let's get started with making our design. The paper that I chose is much thicker. It's watercolor paper. Um, and that just means that the weight of the paper is higher than regular paper. So you're going to begin by creating one organic shape. And it doesn't matter which way you hold your paper. It could be this way, it could be this way. This is all abstract. So Jean Dubuffet studies the relationship of those three colors and the black, red, white, black, and blue. He colors the, studies the relationship of those three colors together. And he is a modern artist. So the modern artists really, they didn't always have representational intentions. They didn't want their, uh, their work to look like anything, it was more about the formal qualities and elements and principles in art. So we're going to start with organic shape, which shape is one of the principles of art. So you can just start with a plain organic shape in the middle of your paper. Obviously, it doesn't have to look like nine. Now, remember, organic doesn't have any straight lines. The lines are curved. The, there is no points. The edges are curved, and it's not symmetrical. It's like a nature freeform shape. Using this, we're going to create some shapes kind of around it, almost like a puzzle piece. So from here, just go for it. I am using this inner line to create that inner part of my shape. So I'm not adding another line in here or another space. This is just going to go ahead and keep adding. And this paper that I sent home with you is a rectangle. You can do this on any paper if you don't have those rectangles. I'm also not using, I'm also keeping my lines inside the rectangle because when I make the paper sculpture, I don't want it to be just a rectangle. I want to be able to cut out some of these edges and we're going to do the paper sculpture together. So this is not going to be this part of the video. This part of the video is only the design part. So the next time we are live or during my next video, I will explain the paper sculpture. So we're just creating 
organic shapes that connect kind of like a puzzle. We're going to do this on front and back. Start with an organic shape. Fill in your spaces. So it kind of is like connecting puzzle pieces. They can be any shape, any length, any height. Again, I'm keeping my outside, like this is called the perimeter. When it's the outside, I'm keeping that with curved lines instead of fitting all those organic shapes into this rectangle. I just think that'll make my sculpture more interesting when we go and make that. So I'm not looking for a completed sculpture at the end of this video. I'm just looking for completed designs. So we need red, blue, and black. I'm going to suggest that you start off by adding some black lines into to your designs. So think about which organic shape should have some lines. Your lines can go diagonal. Your lines can go vertical. Your lines can intersect or overlap like this, cross. Your lines can go um, any direction that you choose. So I'm just looking here. I think I'm going to do these as curved, maybe curved and this way and then curve and this way. Okay. And next, think about how you're going to bring in your blue. So you can make your objects solid blue. And you don't have to follow along with the same stylization as Jean Dubuffet and his hair loop. You can implement your own design styles here okay so if i do this one solid blue he does some solid i'm actually going to put some stripes in here i want to make it a little more interesting you can do polka dots you can do swirls you can do zigzags you can do hearts you can do words you can make uh, you can make animals or shapes inside of each section you can put more than one color inside of each section, but you do have to limit your colors to red, white, blue, and black. So colors do have to be limited. Some of the designs that he created have like these organic shapes inside you can color in some of the spaces that you have your black lines with colors blue or red you can obviously leave some spaces white oh, i know what i wanted to do more polka dots up here Now the paper that I gave you is nice and thick. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you is you should be drawing with a Sharpie or some kind of black marker or object, uh, color pencil, crayon, something like that, because it'll just save you from going and outlining. I should have said that in the beginning, I'm sorry. My Sharpie's running out. You can color some of your organic shapes solid black okay so your designs what i'm looking for is front and back front and back i'll leave some designs up here front and back of two pieces of paper. And that's what I'm looking, that's what I'm expecting to see today, okay? Front and back of, of two pieces of paper. Say for example, this one, this one, front and back, this one, this one. So you should have front and back of two. And that's what I would like to see for this video. Next video is going to be the actual 
assemblage of the sculpture. Hope you guys have a good spring break and I will see you when we return.